Hello everybody, Mark's Trenches here. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody had a really good Christmas and looking forward to the new year. So, we're going to kick things off with a breeding video. I'm going to be breeding my Haploposa species Columbia. This is the pumpkin patch. This is the large form. I'm going to be using Gandalf's male trench again. He is getting on a little bit now, but let's hope he still has something left in him. So let's uh, crack on with this breeding video. This is the graveyard enclosure, which is housing my female Haplopopus species, Columbia. As soon as the male is in, he starts to search for her. He makes his way through the thick, dense webbing. I noticed he has slowed down considerably since the last time I had him. So this may be the last opportunity he gets to pair with the female. He continues his search. Still, no sign of the female. After about 40 minutes, he finds her, but all you can see is her legs just beneath him. He tries to tempt her out. She isn't showing any aggression towards him. In fact, she isn't showing any interest at all, but he waits patiently. After around another 30 minutes or so, he decides to leave, slowly making his way around the gravestone. He does have another wonder, but the female does not want to know. As you saw in that video there, it was not a successful pairing. Um, so I was going to leave it till today, which is the next day. And when I went to check on the tranchula, unfortunately the male has actually passed away. Um, bit of a shock really. So like I see, it was an old male. Um, but I think the postage and the last little attempt to breed him, must have just took it out of him. When I went to get him out today, I noticed actually that he tried to make a sperm whip, but he was upside down and he did not have the strength to get back up. I offered him some water and checked on him in a couple of hours time, but no, it's, um, he is uh, passed away now, so that is unfortunate. I'm not going to show you the spider because it is Gandalf's spider and I don't know that it would upset her to see the spider like that. But he had a good life. Just uh, happy to see we couldn't get a, a successful pairing. So, um, but I don't want to leave the video on a bit of a low like that. So I'm going to show you my nanochromatus that has just molted. Uh, it's exciting. My nanochromatus who laid the egg sac with all the... Uh, about 900 odd spiderlings. About, about a month after laying the sack, she's uh, molted. So let's uh, let's go have a look at her, shall we? Okay, so this is my nanochromatus, molted about two weeks ago. So she should be ready to feed. Let's take this mole out. Oh. 
I was waiting for her to come out of her burrow a little bit. Normally when she starts webbing up her prey. So we get a good look at her there. Well, she's still not coming out to show. Let's see if I can tempt her out this way. That's it, come on. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's happening today, guys. Come on, just come and show yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to wind her up anymore. Uh, yeah, so she does look beautiful. I'm going to do a feeding video soon. Uh, hopefully I'll uh, get some nice shots over there so you can see it properly. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you again very soon in the next one. Thank you for watching.